The radical movement uh, in, in Florence, in Tuscany, was kind of most important reaction to to the hippie, to the Beatles, and to um, refusing the culture of the establishment. So obviously they all were uh, funny communists, uh, including Branzi, Natalini from Super Studio, who followed my degree, and uh, the, the master of this group was Ettore Sozzas, living in Milano, uh, working for Olivetti. Uh, he never accepted to teach, but he was a great teacher. What was my lesson from Tuscany? First of all, that architecture is gone and design is gone forever. Uh, we were absolutely convinced that the business uh, we tried to learn was completely unnecessary. Uh, that's why the group is called the Radical, Radical Design, Radical Architecture. The utopia of architecture in the 70s was over and we had to start from scratch. So in uh, early 80 we started uh, a kind of revolution called Memphis. Uh, during day we worked on our business. We tried to uh, find some money to survive. And during night we worked on, on this kind of manifesto. It was a strong reaction against German design. It was a heavy reaction against the Ulm school. Uh, I still hate this school. I'm convinced that this school is the disaster after the great Bauhaus period. Ulm was the first global misunderstanding of form follows function. So the question is, uh, what is better or what is worse? Is it the utopia from Italy or is it the utopia from form follows function, which was fiction? That's why we call the form follows function uh, Bauhaus misunderstanding, form follows fiction, and form follows nothing, uh, or form follows form. The first PC was uh, conceived, was uh, designed by Sozza, together with Adriano Olivetti. And lifelong fights happened in Ivrea, where the company was based, um, because the engineer said, I tell you how it looks like, and then you give me the shape, like carrozzeria design. Uh, like shaping over the, the body of a car, the engine is done, everything is done, and then you please give me the shape in the last five minutes. This is exactly the opposite of what should happen. Long-lasting, sustainable, no design. What means no design? No design, normally we call it zero design, is um, shaping a product in a way that you cannot recognize who is the designer, when was it designed, and under what circumstance. Uh, this product uh, is designed in 91, but could be one year ago, and maybe in 10 years, uh, will be as out of time as it's now. No design is my approach to design. Uh, you as an architect, as a teacher, you understand, but if you go outside, 
and they explain no design, they say, okay, what does it mean? No design, is it, it is not designed? What means zero design? I think this is a kind of crucial question. Um, what I learned from Ettore Sotsas. Ettore was, first of all, he refused to use the word design, which is perfectly right. He is an architect and he, lifelong, he designed as an architect and as an architect he tried to reduce to maximum simplicity. This is the great lesson from Mr. Sotsas. Reduce to the max. Everybody can design such a simple shape, but uh, the quality of espresso coming out from this cup, if you cut, cut it in the middle, you understand what is the message of Mr. Illy. In the lower part, you keep it very, very hot because the cross section on the top for the lips is acceptable for the, the diameter to drink in the lower part is more or less double and that's why you have a thermocopia. Thermocopia means um, you keep it hot for this one to two minutes during drinking or waiting before you drink. Uh, the complexity of this uh, cross-section now was copied in the last 20 years by, you name it, from Lavazza to Rosenthal to uh, <coughs> many, many, many companies. Uh, we could have a lawyer non-stop uh, <coughs> because this cup is probably the most copied uh, design item. Why? Because it's a true no design. Normally, uh, you put the cup at the, in the lowest point, so it's kind of self-centering and you have a feeling that it's stable. Uh, I, I copied the, the idea of, the, um, of a volcano. Uh, Illy says, I'm the best. They do only one coffee. Lavazza, for example, is doing 12 different uh, uh, coffee qualities. So if Mr. Inley says, I'm premium, I'm the best, he should see it as high as possible. So I call it the, um, the Vesuvio effect. It's like sitting on top of a volcano. Uh, and why this? Because the way how you serve coffee can be uh, very unfriendly, like zam, take your coffee, like in Italy in 20 seconds you have coffee. Or you are very polite, you look in the face of the person and say, please, this is your coffee. Again, I have to quote Ettore, who became quite angry when they asked him about design. He always, lifelong, refused to use the word and to accept 
that they caught him in a zyno. Uh, I think as a teacher you are placing a crucial question. It's very, very important to place this question to every single student and everybody should give his own answer. It's a very personalized profile you give on what you want to do in your life. Uh, I was teaching for 18 years at the University of Vienna and uh, several times Alberto Alessi came to teach as well as Branzi came to teach and I was fascinated how um, they could come closer to the single student profiles by simply explaining life experience. So it's, it's more about understanding the complexity of life rather than understanding the complexity of production process. It's given that you, you, you should know how you fire uh, porcelain and the difference between porcelain and ceramic. This is easy to learn. But the complexity of life Great teachers like uh, Sotsas was, they always talked about life. That's how I met him at the UCLA in 1976. Um, he gave uh, a, a lecture, not about his computer, but about his life experience. So my, my vision is uh, a bit, apparently a bit uh, negative because whenever they ask me about design, I say, what are you talking about? September 11 was the end. Now we are in the next phase. And I'm quite convinced that September 11 was a global shock and was a kind of epitaphio is writing when somebody dies, you say on September 11 design died forever and a new design started which is much closer to human beings and is much um, more about necessary items about surviving and not about consuming.